I'm gonna make chicken tidbits usually using chicken leg meat. Why? Because it's juicier, tastier than the breast. And if you should happen to overheat it a little bit, it doesn't affect it where if you heat up a piece of little tidbit of a chicken breast and uh, it's very dry in your mouth. So I'm gonna season this with a little sea salt, even though the batter is seasoned. And a little cayenne pepper because little tidbit things like this should be seasoned nicely especially if you're uh, at an affair it'll make you drink more just mix it up and I'm going to toss it in flour I should say uh, cornstarch and then we'll put it in the batter and the reason why I put it in uh, cornstarch just lightly dust them the cornstarch will stick to the chicken does a better job than if you used flour and then when it comes out of the batter it's going to be coated nicely so you just coat the pieces nicely and each piece after it's coated like so, you drop it into the batter. Now the difficult part of this is getting as many pieces in the 375 degree oil as possible. And if you don't have a thermometer, you can always drop just a little bit of the batter in there to test the heat out. And when it comes up nicely like that, we're good to go. So what I do, I put my skimmer in to the batter where the chicken is. Then I take a fork and I stick the piece. And drop it in there. If you use your fingers, you're going to have uh, the batter all over, you'll probably burn yourself. And this way, also with your fingers, a lot of the batter will come off the chicken. And this way it doesn't. Now that's enough. Because by the time the first piece is done, the last piece is still a little raw. As long as it's frying like that, you know you have good temperature. And notice none of the batter is falling off the uh, little tidbits. Because dusting them in cornstarch works. So if you find a piece stuck together, just separate it. Well, you could season this with anything you want. Could put thyme in the batter. I chose basil, sweet dry basil I used. It's very tasty. Rosemary, tarragon. Just as long as it looks like it's frying, just the way when they drop french fries in a deep fryer. And if it stops bubbling, then you know you're too slow. Also, it won't come out greasy if you have the right temperature. And don't be afraid that the chicken is not going to be cooked this temperature, as soon as these are nice and brown, the chicken is cooked. Uh, 
Oh, you could serve this with tomato sauce, ketchup. Um, with nothing. Just stick a toothpick in it. We are good. I'm just waiting for that one little last piece to give me a little bit more color. And also, you know when chicken is done, it floats. So the pieces that come to the top are the pieces that are done. Okay, taking these out. And I will cook the rest later. And I'll immediately cut one in half. So you see the amount of time it took for us to prepare that. Look at that. Can you believe this? See that? That's not cooked. Well, it's very tasty. Well, you know what? It's perfect. When you have to heat that up again in the oven, so actually it came out good. But so that's what you do anyway. Take one I should have taken just one piece out and tested one piece. Then I could have left them in there just for a couple of more minutes. Which they're very close. I mean I ate that because I don't mind having a little pink on the chicken. And the, and the texture and the finish with the um, corn flour worked out well with the cheese. Anyway, that's it. Test the piece, and if it needs another two more minutes, it's no problem. But that's the uh, chicken with corn flour and basil and cheese used as an hors d'oeuvre or just. Serve this on top of rice. Enjoy. Well, I finished cooking all of them, and that's three quarters of a pound. So that's pretty good. That batter can make uh, almost double this.